guys, welcome to today's video. I'm working on a little watercolor portrait, kind of like the stuff I used to do. Just as like a little de-stressing drawing since I've been pretty swamped with freelance work lately and I haven't had much time to draw for myself, so this one was a really fun one. I wanted to try something different while also using the same technique that I used to do. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you're looking to build a custom website with its own domain and even a online shop, Squarespace has all of that for you. I will talk more about it at the end of the video. For this drawing, I used my Magello Mission Gold watercolors, a bunch of Faber-Castell Polychromos colored pencils, a couple of Pentel brush pens and aquash pens, and a Univol Signo white gel pen. I've gotten in the habit of bringing these little bowls with me that have a skin tone color mixed in. I usually just adjust it for the darkness or lightness of the skin tone that I want by adding more water or more pigment and I just keep re-wetting it every time I want to use it. It's actually really useful and I like to just go over the whole skin area with the flat color and work in highlights and shadows later on. It's a really simple and quick way of doing watercolor. I think usually you're supposed to build up layers, but I'm kind of impatient for that. <laughs> one day I really want to take an actual watercolor class because I've never taken one. And for some reason I didn't think I would be using watercolor when I was in art school, so I never took a class. And now it's pretty much almost all I use. <laughs> but I really don't know much about watercolors other than what I have tried out myself. So today's drawing's a little different because I've been getting some requests to draw a blonde girl because I hardly ever draw them because I usually end up adding colored hair or something like that. So it's a little actually out of my comfort zone today doing these colors. It's a very warm color palette with blonde hair and pink ombre colors and even though I started with a darker skin tone it ended up being looking a lot lighter than I intended but it all worked out. I really miss doing just fun little portraits like these and it was really relaxing to just play with the colors and not have to worry about anything really. <laughs> this drawing looks super weird until I start adding the outlines as usual. <laughs> I 
I should be the last to know Where all in this I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know light I use a Pentel aquash brush pen which is the light black color and it kind of outlines everything in like a grayish and then I go in with the black outline and define some of the areas sometimes I just leave the gray but it makes for a softer painting it's been really hot in my studio lately and I've been trying to find other places to draw I actually did this one in my apartment's common room area so the lighting's a little bit harsh, but at least there was nice AC and a giant table to work on. <laughs> when I said I was doing this portrait in my old style, I kind of, I mostly was talking about the tattoos. A couple years ago, I used to do portraits like these all the time, and I would draw the tattoos in graphite because it makes for like a cool, sketchy, grayish looking design instead of such a harsh black outlined for the tattoos and then I take my wet paintbrush with just water and go over them really quickly after I've finished with the graphite and it kind of blurs it a little and seals it into the paper. It makes a really cool effect and it almost looks like it's painted on also. I don't know, I like it a lot. So thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. 
For those of you who don't know what Squarespace is, it is an online website building platform that allows you to do everything in one place. You can easily customize your website, purchase your own domain, and even open an online store all on your website. They have so many amazing templates and beautiful layouts for their websites, and they've got something for everyone. They also have great 24-hour customer service in case you need any help with your store or building your website or anything at all. I use Squarespace for my website and it's been a few years now. It was so easy to use. So if you want to try it out for yourself, you can go to squarespace.com and start a free trial. If you like it, you can go to squarespace.com slash Jacqueline for a 10% off coupon of your first purchase. So those of you who have been waiting to build an online portfolio, now's the time. And it's a lot easier than you think. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Ooh.